Greetings, ladies and gentlemen players. It's another wonderful Friday. This uh, that uh, of 2021, making it a wonderful day for basics. And uh, as you can tell, I'm still back on the OGS. Recently, after I'm going to assume last week, got ourselves a nice little flashy 2Q. So that puts my theoretical rank right now at 2.6Q. So I'm going to try to get a game somewhere between 1 and 3Q and uh, yeah, just see where we go from here. Side note, holy crap, there's a lot of people looking for games right now. I have never seen this many people on OGS looking for games. What even is this? It is 7 p.m. Eastern for those of you who are interested. I guess maybe we still have an overlap between some European players and some uh, American players, maybe? Is that why we're actually seeing a bunch of people looking for games? Wow, can you even find my game amongst all this? Where am I? Where am I? I am down here somewhere, right? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm literally at the very bottom. Yeah, literally at the very bottom. This might take a hot second. Got ourselves a game with Flow Dash 2. A happy little 1Q. I, I got to check him out real quick. I'm curious. A lot of games. Ooh, look at that. A lot of freaking wins. What on earth? He wins like all of his games. That's kind of cray cray. So I don't really know what his real rank is. Um, I'll do four, three, four facing and then approach whatever this. No, maybe not. All right. I'll just do the enclosure then. I anticipate an in 3 3 invasion because this is OGS. No? Okay. Back off. Will they back off too? Nope, playing old school. Now, this is something that you can ignore, as I've mentioned repeatedly, because it's just not a very fast move. I mean, it's, it, it's just not. I'll go ahead and answer it, just because we're playing some kind of uh, basic-y stuff. That's a bit of a mistake. We now have an invasion point here, which is really, really awkward, because the in if you play certain variations where you just let your opponent live, these two stones die, you get the 3-3 three, three later on. He made that exchange so he doesn't have the 3-3 three, three later on, which means he can't make that exchange. It means he has to push me this way. And that's a hindrance for his ability to build territory. So essentially, the variation I'm referring to is this one. We invade here, right? And then you go ahead and cap. It's the most obvious uh, response to this invasion in the history of ever. We go ahead and extend. They hammer down, usually to grow this left urn a uh, bit. You go bish, bash, bosh, connect. And then later on, as you can see, the 3-3, three, three, we wouldn't play it right now. Wouldn't play it right now. But later on, there might be some Haji here with the 3-3 three, three still. Now, unfortunately, when you go and do dupe, 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 it means once we play here, they cannot drop down other ways. They just kill themselves. And then this is a humongous corner. I mean, like, oh, look at all that territory. And two stones dead. It ain't, it ain't pretty. It ain't pretty. Which means you are committing to playing something like, I don't know, maybe something like that one, where you're just alive immediately in Sente, question mark? And then what? You just like keep poking at the wall and maybe poke there too and keep coming out? It's just not pretty. Not pretty at all. So yeah, this Q18 exchange, don't do it if you want to drop back all the way to the star point. Pick one or the other, sir. If you're gonna do this one, just take yourself a nice calm base. The attachment is not a terrible decision, but he's trying to build up into an area that has multiple invasion points, so he is committing to giving me Sente, which I am completely adoring. I'll go ahead and live here with a nice simple variation. He has to hit here again. Um, that is not a forcing move. I can invade right now. Why isn't it a forcing move? Because if he Ataris me, I, I can just respond. And it's the same thing here. But I'll go ahead and pretend that this is okay. And I'll extend once. This is, again, what I mean by um, over and over and over again when I say the difference between Western players and, uh, you know, the Eastern players you find on Fox and whatnot. This guy is, like, really overplaying and trying to build, whereas, you know, the other people just try to overplay and try to kill you. Have you taken a shot every time I've mentioned that uh, yet out of curiosity? If so, I apologize for your liver failure. Um, this invasion point, though, is still a thing. I can still go here. I can still go here. It's helping to, you know, make it a little bit more difficult to get in there. But at the end of the day, we can still get in there. 
He'll probably shoulder hit him uh, as well. But yeah, this does not turn all of his, so nothing to worry about. He's kicking me, so I get to build, which is fantastic. I like it. Thank you very much. But I'm going to invade. He'll probably reduce or try to build. We'll just go and live up here, and that's going to be a very big problem for him. That is an overplay of biblical proportions. Dude, that is so huge in the overplay. So he wants me... Yeah, this is this is completely aligned. This is totally aligned with what we're talking about, right? He's like making a huge overstep here. Trying to, uh, trying to get, you know, build and get points as fast as possible. But it's, it, that's not how you do it. You need to play uh, really, really solid when you're doing this kind of thing. You could play old school. Okay, this is a problem because we can go and play here in the um, end game. And then he takes and we Atari, so he only gets this. Very big difference get him getting two, four, six, you know, whatever points compared to, you know, others. If he turns here, we're ignoring him because it's not, uh, it's not, it's not big. It just ain't. Actually, we might actually answer him because that gives it a different thing. If he plays here, or here, sorry, trying to get us to do this, this is still an invasion point. I'm going to mark it because that's actually a cutie. It's a little bit of a cutie pie. Check that out. If I play here, then we can extend and then connect back to our stone or go into here. So this is a really, really, really small corner now. Um, but ba 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 ba. I'm pushing you. Then we're invading. I am going to take a book out of the Karate Kid and sweep the leg when he does a uh, jump here. If he goes for a one space, if he goes for a two space kind of deal, we might attach to him. If he goes for more than that, I don't know. I might just, I might just fall back. Because again, fall back, get Sente, invade the top point, and be good. Shoulder hitting me, not such a good idea. It's giving me fifth line territory and the promise of a Hane at the head of two or three stones, which is love the proverb, as you all know. Um, I could play here, but I think I'm going to play here first and then see what he does. Because if he goes down, then I'm just going to be like, hey, how you, how, how you don't? Nah, I'll play here. It's fine. Whatever. Tiger Mouth, I'm assuming. Or extend. Um, if he does, I'm going to still Hane. Um, I'll play here. This uh, little two space extension is not alive yet, so he has to respond. And then we will be invading. Still not alive, I can go ahead and throw in there. Yeah, surround, whole bunch of stuff. Poke. Just keeping him honest. So we can throw in here and live. Here goes into here, or here goes into here. So this group is not a live local. <sighs> and yeah, the problem is, like, once I live here, like, what's he going to do next? This will be his territory, but I've got territory here, I've got territory here, I've got territory here. I've got a weak group that I can attack. I mean, it's just, it, I mean, it's just fine. He's trying to kill. It's awkward. Very awkward, very awkward. How do I want to showcase the invasion here? <clears throat> got multiple options. Uh, so one option is I could play here, he plays here, here, and then we play this one. He can't cut on the inside. Otherwise, we go swoop on and over. So he'll be here, and then here, here, here. So we can anticipate this one, block there, there, uh, there. So that would be something along the lines of what uh, we could easily build here. And then we can play this one. He plays that one. And then, let's see... I'm getting caught in my line here. And then this one into this one into that one. And then that should just be life. You can see these as if these were all black stones, I should have I should have put this black to begin with. I'm sorry. Uh, let me clear that away so it's a little bit easier to see, eh? So you're looking at this, and then he plays there. And then he defends. And then I can play here, and then he does a diagonal. Push and he does the diagonal. Push, he does a diagonal. Uh, here he prevents me from killing him. And now we're alive. Simple as that, right? Because this is the shape that we're making. You can see that? There's one other thing that I kind of want to do, though. I'm kind of tempted to play this one. And then just come on out. Because there is an either-or sort of situation here. I'm going to showcase it. 
I'm going to showcase it. Because even if you can't read like what I just showed, you've got two spaces here. So he's acting like this is all territory, and that's the fundamental flaw in his play right now, because it's not. It's not territory. Half of it disappears. He cannot keep all this, because he has like one, two, three, four stones with an extension. Um, this is going to be unfortunate. I had to do make a, make a little bit of a... Kind of a bit of a disgusting move here, but you know, if it, if it works, it works. So what are you going to do? Um, I could actually live here too, to be honest. Say, so I'm going to play here. He can tarry me. I'll tarry him back. It's fine. Like that is already live, right? I, I literally have an eye right here. Um, I think I can go ahead and play this one though. Into just this one. And then we're live there too. Yeah, see how we just keep getting more and more eye shape faster than he can get rid of it? It's crazy, eye. Powering. Another eye shape. You just can't get rid of them all, you know? Because this area wasn't secure. You can't secure areas like that. It's just not possible, unfortunately. I wish it was. I'd be playing a lot more uh, Moyo games, eh? I think we just play here. Because there's Mii, right? He fits there, there. If I play here, he can Hane. He can Atari and then uh, take that out, which would be bad. So yeah, we play uh, here first. And then if he plays, takes this one, then we just take this one because we have an eye there and an eye there. So yeah, we're alive. Now he'll try and build up here, but it's open up on this side. So we'll go ahead and invade that. He's going for a co. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you to the co, sir. No, thank you to the co. These are all co threats that he's making right now, which is very, very bizarre that he's um trying to play these. And it's also Gote. He can't wait. No, it's not. I must say, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I must say, I have I, me, I, I hear it and I hear it. But no, I don't. Uh, Gote. So right now, I'm going to double tap my territory here. He has to invade me. He has no choice, because the only territory has is up in here. Yep, there's the invasion. But note, he's weak to invasions, performing them, it looks like, because this is a very weird spot to perform an invasion on. We just drop down, and now I've outnumbered him three to one, and he has no forcing move. Mmm, yeah, yeah, you see that? You see how that's working? Now, I could let him invade me. I could also just play here. He leaves, I go under. And I, th I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. We're just going to drop down. So I kept most of my territory here. See, the top invasion worked because there were so many different... Ooh, he's going to win. Okay. I mean, I can kill him now. I just go here and run him to there, and then he's dead. I mean, I got to. But yeah, you can see the difference between how this was able to live because I had multiple ways that I could try to live, you know? There were multiple ways out. I could go up. I could go over. He tried to keep me from going out. But there was another huge open area which allows me to go da or out and then over. Like, it's just, it's just too large, you know? It's just too large. No require reading here. Just don't let your cutting points get killed. Uh, there's no reason to Atari this, so we're just going to go ahead and defend here. Or here. Here? Here. Eeny, meeny, miny. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Which one's better? This one like gives a weak point there. This one doesn't, but this might be better. Ugh, I'm bad at that kind of thing. Knowing where the Aji is, like, how do I get rid of the Aji the most efficiently here? Hard to say, mate. Hard to say. But yeah, because I'm not weak to invasions, um, I I'm okay against this style of play. And because I have so much experience, um, okay. And because I have so much experience playing Fox, I'm I've gotten better 
at handling uh, their attacks as well. But yeah, unfortunately, you have to recognize that uh, at the end of the day, I'm going to go ahead and double tap this for no reason at all. I just want to give him Sente again. You have to, um, what was I saying? Yeah, at the end of the day, you just kind of have to recognize when you're overstepping, whether it's attacking because you want to be aggressive or building because you want to be a builder. Like being an attacker, being a builder, they're both fantastic styles to play. You can do whichever one you want, getting in the middle because this is where his profit is. Um, you can be either of those. It's completely fine. It's completely okay. Fantastic. Do whatever you feel. But, oh, good move. But unfortunately, you also have to realize that... Uh, uh, go ahead and make the end of this. You also have to realize when you can't do those things very efficiently. I'm not really interested in this co, to be honest. I mean, we're sending game right now. He has this for territory, not for territory. Am I in trouble? Eh, I'll play here and then I'll. Double tap myself, I guess. There. Okay. Um. Mm. I mean, we can just do little things right now. He can uh, honey directly. That's fine, because I'm not going to go to Koa here. You know, let's just keep let's just keep doing end game stuff. Let's just keep doing end game stuff, eh? There, that's bigger because I can get uh, more territory here. And then R18 is pretty big too. I don't think that works. Here, 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 and I can Hane again. Dead. I mean, I could let him live just to just for things, you know. No, nah, no thank you. There's a move over here you can play. Yeah, let's go and Hane again. My cutting points here are nice and defended. This isn't a cutting thing. Uh, let's go and play here. And here. Because this is dead. Therefore, the corner can't live. And then I think because I don't want to worry about like getting into shortage of liberty kind of dealio, we're just going to go ahead and hard connect here. I'm going to be a little bit careful here. I think this might have been the wrong variation to use. It's probably fine, though. I could go ahead and honey this one. You can never Atari there on that side, so we're fine. Or I can Atari and then Hane, and that's fine too. So it's whatevs. Interesting. Sorry, and then extend. I don't have to do any reading here. I think my I have enough room. I have a weird B2 bomber here, which made me a little bit nervous. Those aren't really uh, <laughs> known for their high liberty counts. But I think it's okay. He can't do any tricky things over here when I'm threatening to Atari. And that is an Atari here. So I'm going to go here into here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, I guess, I. Eh? Yeah, let's go ahead and Atari him. He's trying to do a throw-in and to get me killed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and kill this immediately, I think. There, done. No weird throw in liberty shortages. Okay. Back to endgame. Mm hmm. He has S19. Okay, we'll extend. So I really want to go over an endgame, or not endgame, in a review. Exactly. Eh, I could probably come out here a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, exactly how this fight came about. 
And that's also dead. And uh, how we know that that top was trying to go for too much and why we didn't need to be afraid of it. And I want to highlight all the different ways that we do actually have to just go ahead and be completely fine there. Okay, see how his shapes are kind of, he's like kind of bumping into, into trouble a lot when he's trying to figure out how to take advantage of my shapes. Um, is there a way to kill this? I don't know. Who cares? There might not be a way to kill this. It's fine. I'll just go ahead and play away. Um, can I kill the stones? Uh, I'm the high head two and three, so we'll extend. Best cutting point makes it, you know, don't have to really read it out ever. Mm hmm. Sure, you can poke, that's fine.
Remove the dead stones. All right, yeah, Japanese rolls next. Chinese, we're good. Uh, accept. You have won. All right, so we won by forty point five. Um, let's go ahead and review the game. Review started. Let's go ahead and review the game. <clears throat> so, as you can see, the uh, invasion was pretty strong. So yeah, right away, this, as I mentioned, is a huge issue because I can invade here and there are a finite number of responses to this. This is one of them. But giving up these two stones essentially just loses you the game pretty much. This is just way too big to give up. That's absolutely enormous. And you still need to defend here. Like even if I double tap this, which I don't think I probably actually have to do, it's still so, so big. And then, I mean, you need to... I don't know, defend this corner somehow. Like, I don't know. I, I just can't recommend it. Anyway. the In light of that, there's this one. Right? But, I mean, the, the, the invasion is just alive now. So it's very, very strange. Very, very strange. So yeah, this uh, bad shape. Bad shape uh, right off. Now he's building off the bad shape, which is risky because now you're building your house of cards over a foundation that has already been pre-infested with termites. I mean, it's just going to be like, maybe the termites will all die or maybe your house is going to come crashing down around you in a couple of years. So we advance a few years, and he's still building up. This is this was just bizarre. Like, kick into a two space is just not a thing. To be fair, you can see why it's tempting to play this way. Estimate score. It's yeah, even the score estimator is like that's not worth points. Okay, hypothetically, let's say it was. I'll say it was. I'll say it was. There. Now will it? It's still not saying that's worth points. You're annoying. Why are you doing this? But all right, it's saying blacks ahead by pretty much anything. I'm trying my best to make this worth solid territory. To, to, okay, there we go. Now white is theoretically ahead by like two points if he keeps all of this. But it's it the, the score estimator for all intents and purposes, is acknowledging that this isn't worth solid points yet, but then again, neither is this. So, it's hard to show with the OGS estimator. It's uh, pretty terrible, the score estimator on OGS. Um, so yeah, it plays here. We go ahead and Hane. And as I mentioned before, there's still an invasion point here because he has to like not allow me to do this kind of thing. Really, really, really awkward. Large invasion later on. So here he's just kind of building uh, too much. And so same thing on the top. Right now, it would be in his best interest to... I don't I don't care. Maybe this guy. Maybe this guy. But he'll lose if he does that is the problem. Like, it, it's really awkward. Because you need another move on top of the board to make sure I can't invade you. But if you play it, then you're going to lose anyway. So it's just awkward that we're building off of this particular shape in general. So we push, and then he lives, which is fine. He lives, that's good. He tries to kill me. I do want to show this real quick. Because he can't do this one, right? Otherwise, we go through like that. So we do this one. And then we could do something like this one. Something like this one. And now here, it really depends on what he's going to do. If he plays this one, there's a double Atari there, so it's no good. So he could do this one, and then we could do 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 do. Um, I want to do this. Maybe here into here. That seems fine, right? Something like that, anyway. Anyway, you get the idea. Though even now, there's like the Atari here into like the clamp and stuff. Uh, either way, there, there's ways to go back and live up there. Uh, I chose this way instead. He drops down, which is fine. 
I expected him to try to do this way to kill me, to be honest. <clears throat> Into like a hyper cut kind of dealio. I see that one quite a, quite a bit. I do see that one quite a bit. There are ways to handle this, obviously, or I wouldn't have played it. Um, one of the most brain dead is just sacrifice all this, because as you can see, plainly, there's liberty issues. And even if he made this exchange first, then we would go and just be like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and finish this off or whatever. And then maybe kill that. Like, there's a lot of Aji here that you can use. That way, something similar to that is the most brainless way for, you know, just not reading. If I'm trying to read, I would do this one first because it's threatening to capture. If he plays here, I'll probably play here, into here, into here, into a co, something like that, I guess. Y11, you might ask. If he plays anything else, there's this. And then he's dead there, right? Well, there's just a lot. There's just too much bad Aji. There's just too much bad Aji. We were always going to live up there. We were always living up there. It's important to see this position and realize this is not all White's territory. Like one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like 50 points. No way. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Now, to be fair, there's a there's a serious chance I could give him all of those points because of all of the various uh, ways we have to just keep taking points for ourselves. I might not actually have to invade the top. It says that I'm up by 4.8. So, yeah, it, it, I, I might not have to. I might not have to. But it's important to recognize that this is solid territory. And important to also note how to uh, reduce it. So to that end, I'm going to keep harping on this a bit. I could also play this one. If he tries to like go and kill me or whatever. Not only are there Aji, is there Aji present here, for example. But there's also Aji present here. You put them all together and then congratulations. They each turn into their own little life and death problems. And as, uh, you know, white busy trying to figure out how to deal with uh, all those things. He can't turn around and kill you, you know? Because he's too busy not dying himself. Oops. He's too busy finding ways, you know, not to die here. To actually turn around and try to kill you. So don't be afraid of areas like that. If you see an area like that and you think, like, oh, that's my opponent who never tried to invade it, you, you really should start trying to. Because it's just too large. It's just too large. And uh, I guess we are now. What are we at now? Um, I have no idea what 0.8k is. <laughs> I mean, what the 0.8k? I don't know. Is that that's not a one don, right? That's not a don. What is that? It's not a one q. I don't. Whatever, we'll we'll play we'll play a zero Q next get next time. Uh, so yeah, join me next week where we try to get a game against a zero Q. Till then, uh, take care, everybody.